Stupid thing. Don't want you. Don't want you. Wants to remove you. I don't ever do the publish highlights thing. All right. So we got to learn stuff, right? I want this one. I, want, I don't want this one. How do you delete this junk? Okay, so. No. No. We're going to hopefully totally trash this. All right. Got a new highlight. Okay, so what I want. Okay, I can do, okay. I think I get it now. Did I grab it? And I think that's my highlight. I don't want that. I do want that. I want that one. Get rid of that one. I want this one. 
Oh, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Dude. Okay, so yes, you're processing a highlight. And that'll do whatever it does, right? Okay, fine. We no we're no longer all that terribly invested. But I've been I've been publishing all my videos. Right, so we'll figure that out later. We got time later. In the meantime. Oh, stream manager. Got all the stuff going on. Alright. Alright, got that. And let's get let's get to coding. Shall we get to coding? Because that is, you know, presumably why we're here. And I'm refactoring the universe. Because that's a thing you can do when you have a class called universe. Got to. How many places do I do I have map? All right. So one of the things that bothered me. All right. One of the things that bothered me is that create map. I specify the map type and then the name. And when I create a star system, I put the star system name and then the type. Now, this bothers me. Because I want the type second. I want, do I want, okay, I want one or the other. Right, okay, so let's. We either go name then type or we go type then name. But I also know there's a bunch of other things. So when I create the planet vicinity, it is name then type. So obviously my my thoughts, my general assumption, my, my general workflow is that I'm a name then type person. And that's fine. Right. Oof, I gotta get heat. I got this heating pad on the floor because my feet get cold. I put the heating pad on, but I didn't have the heating pad on, so my feet were getting frozen. Not frozen, but you know, yeah. I'm old. Things are, I'm old and diabetic. I get cold. So, but I want map name, then map type. Book. Which means I need to go look at all the places. There are not very many, so all right. And generally speaking, I'm going to do all this junk. And one of the other things that we're doing, I'm going to do here. We're going to put, give more meaning to the concept of map type. Okay, so now it's all, it's all changed here. So that's good. We're gonna fix all this. Let's be default location type. So we're gonna map name, map type. Okay, got it. Got it. So that's good. Okay. 
map name, then map type. So it's day five of whatever this cold type thing is. Quite, quite tired of it at this time, but um, so you know I'm on I'm on the uh, I'm on the over the counter cold medicine stuff, but so what happens there is uh, right now it's in the middle of hey we can have productive cough now, and then that sits like that for about two hours and then gets increasingly less productive. So it's like yeah. So it's really like you have two different colds. One cold that you have that's medicated and one cold that you have that isn't medicated. And each of them are like kind of annoying. Well, well, you know, they're worse thing. Yeah. It, it isn't cancer, so we'll be all right. Probably. All right. So one of the things here that um, here in an enum, right? No, nope, not metadata types. Not in persistence. It's in model. The enum has map types. One of the things I want to do here is to have a friend friend read only descriptors as my read only dictionary of string to map type descriptor equals well first let's make let's make map type descriptor shall we generate class equals new list of map type descriptor from da 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 and then do a two dictionary function x x dot map type and function x x so then naturally uh, read only property map type as string. So this is what we care about. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so we do have, so we're going to say like so. We're going to replace friend read only with new map type descriptor kablamoid. Okay. We now do oh, we should have done that as uh stuff all right we're going to make freedom <laughs> Because that's what you do. You know what? We need a sound effect, don't we? Do we do need a sound effect? Is this the one? 
Do you like this one? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, let's see you. Eagle Scream. Gonna put you here. So, very, very, nothing else. Okay, freedom! Of course. Uh, na, 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 na. Well, I've got it. And I'll figure out, refigure out how that stuff uh, can work out later. Man, I don't see. Look at that. All right, get back to the Twitch thing. All right, get and go to go to my stream manager. Get back to my hacking plan. Let's get back to things. Let's get back to doing things, shall we? We're refactoring the universe. Okay, say map type as string. Me map type is map type. <laughs> okay, okie doke. So now we got map types, and I want to also put like uh, your columns. Read only property size as integer, integer. Put a size in here, size as one of these things. So me dot size equal size. Oh, and we'll also put a read only property default location type as a string. And default location type as a string. Stack these. Default location type. Go with default location type. There it is. The map types. So we're going to hang on to you. And we're gonna need our initializer in order to know how this all works. So it's 63 by 63. Oh. Location type. That's where that one goes. So in the star system initializer, it's 31. Okay. The star vicinity, 15 by 15. And most of the rest of these are like 15 by 15. Okay, the planet vicinity, 15 by 15. So this one's really the same as here. Planetary orbit, 
That's planet initialization. That's an 11. Interesting. Okay, the satellite is going to be it's 9 by 9. Okay. Right on, and then finally the vessel. <laughs> that one goes in here. <laughs> Actor type, player ship descriptor. What size does it make it? Player ship interior comps. That's five and five. All right. types air. This might be a default size. Not sure yet. I might be able to override it later. It's not a big deal. But so we now have all the information about how to make the map in the map type descriptor. Which means in our create map, function on the I universe. First, let's, let's make sure that this junk all works. Okay, everything is fine. On I universe, not I universe model, we're in or in persistence. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Or if we name you. So that's still, okay, so that really doesn't change how we do this on the persistence level because the persistence level doesn't know anything about the map types. But what does know about the map type is the, uh... Okay, so let's find all the places here. Find all references. So I'm going to say dim descriptor equals map types descriptors of map types vessel. I'm going to get rid of these things and we're going to go descriptor dot map type descriptor dot size columns descriptor size rows <laughs> all right so that eliminates all of that and again Up, 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 up. So it's going to be interior. <laughs> well, ship down interior. Size columns. Yep. All right. So all based on what is there.
Okay, good. Okay, so that takes care of all that. There's still some a few light magic strings in here. But that should work out. So that when I do this, I go to my crew and I go here and I'm in a 5x5 five five box. Yep. Okay, that takes care of that one. Okay, ship interior uses map types descriptor. Let those do the wormholes. Boom. So what is this stuff here? So dim map types, descriptors, map types, star vicinity. Your descriptor map type. Um, size columns. Descriptor, size, rows. And we'll just flat out change you and you. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, for, the, for that. All right. So here where we have descriptor, we can do this. And for here we say star vicinity map size columns. Okay, great. So more constants moved into a descriptor. Well, and hello, Graham. Star vicinity. All right, I'm saying dim descriptor equals map types, descriptors, map type, star system, descriptor, map type. Descriptor size rows. Okay, so great. We got star system. System map size rows. Uh oh. Uh oh. The event five decades in the making. What in the world? Okay.
Now, I was skipping to different parts. I'm like, yeah, you know, this is... Uh... Yep, that's a that's a thing. That's a thing. Huh. All right. Now we know. See creativity, right? It's an excellent, excellent. See that gives me ideas, Graham. Gives me ideas, because um, like as it turns out, as it turns out, I'm gonna be staying in this house. But I've been cleaning out the house because I thought I was moving. And there is an entire room. Is everything okay? No. It, it, will everything be okay? Maybe it's fine. Things life is life is complicated. We'll say complicated. Um, it's better this it, it, better hmm. better better and worse. Right? We're gonna go come to decisions to go. It's less bad. It's less bad this way. How about that? Less bad this way. All things considered. So basically, optimizing for long term, better this way. So it's quite all right, though. It's quite all right. Uh, coming to terms. Came, well, I've, I've come to terms with it. And go, yeah, this is probably better. Uh, for, but for my, my own recovery, for her recovery... This is these are these are the right steps to make. An empty room, right? An empty room. Uh, a couple of empty. I've got a couple of empty rooms, but there's one particular empty room which you can reenact. Start in which I can reenact. Whatever. Um, sort of. It's past that point, really. Although we are we are seeking counsel of people. Yes, it's a it's a thing where we're we're talking to the right sorts of people, and we're more importantly, we're talking to each other and going, yeah, you know what? Baggage is a thing. Baggage is a thing. Baggage is a thing. Baggage is hard to deal with. Anyway, anyway, moving on. But, you know what I want to do here? So my map type. I want my map type to... So this is... If I do this, right? If I do a create a map function on here, right? Function create create map uh, map name. But so I have I have an empty room that and I, I've got uh, a very very large green screen. So this this the thing behind me was actually my my small green screen because I didn't need the huge one. But I've got a very large green screen. Yes. Hello, Apollo. And actually, speaking of the green screen behind me, everybody, Apollo Eye is, is the person who years ago funded this thing. Funded that thing. If I recall correctly. Yes, I now weigh... Um, 
and that weigh 243 pounds or approximately 110 kilos. That was my weigh-in on Wednesday. Yeah, catch me, man, catch me. Uh, yes, it, it is not. I, I found a plan that I could stick with and be consistent with. And there's also, it's, it's weird how, um, how you eat and stuff has way more to do with your mental health than than not then then it then it's not about the activity right it's not about yes there is the activity of your shoving food into your face is the physical physical reason that causes the consequence of the weight gain but that part wouldn't happen unless you, you there's stuff up here going you know what i need to do what i need to do is i don't know no I need to do that. That's so that's uh Let's see, I'm diabetic. Okay, I'm diabetic. And for anybody for anybody interested in what is what is an oversimplified foolproof uh technique for uh getting yourself getting yourself on the correct trajectory as far as how much you weigh. And remember that weight loss is a really great measure, but weight, the, the, the pound, the, the amount, the number of pounds, kilogram or stone that you weigh is not, don't make that the thing. Don't make that the liver thing that you live or die by. That's number one. The correct, correct attitude is, how much you weigh is good information that generally indica indicates um, health. It's a good health indicator, but it's not that I need to weigh this particular thing. Although you do need to weigh less. But you know what I'm saying. It's don't, don't obsess on the number. Don't bend a knee. Don't bow down and worship the number. But so... Having said that, I've, I've been at this a year and a year, a month and a half, a year, a month and a half. So April, beginning of April last year, this is it in order to, uh, get to a healthier weight, you have to answer two questions. Question number one, this question number one, and this one's more important than question number two. You'd think that question number two would be more important. It's not question number one. How are you going to stop eating once you have begun eating? Most important question. How are you going? What is your plan for that? Okay. So, because you have to eat. You have to eat. You have to fuel. So, how are you going to stop? Run out of food. And say, it's like, and if you, if everybody currently, ha this is the thing, everybody currently has an answer. Right, uh, the bag's empty. Right, uh, I'm full. So on. So you got to hack that. So what I did is because you know, they, they they put they put nutritional information on everything. You know what you weigh. You can look up. You can look up all the stuff, and you know. The things to avoid, you know, you want to have lots of fiber in your diet. Was it five? Was it five guy fries? You got a bag. Bags up. Five guy fries. Anyway, so once you've answered, so my the answer to that question is I will make the appropriate amount of food that I should eat, and then I will have a bubbly, no calorie seltzer water. That when I'm done eating the amount of food that I should eat, I will quickly drink that. It'll fizz up. And it'll make my, my stomach feel uncomfortable for five minutes. 
And when my stomach is feeling uncomfortable due to, due to uh, carbon dioxide, I don't want to eat more. And all I got to do is make it through that five minutes. And then I've stopped eating. Okay, so that's my particular answer. Your answer is going to be your answer. Once you've come up with how are you going to stop eating once you've started eating, yeah, weight loss professionals hate this one trick. Drink seltzer waters. So when people ask, because people ask, okay, I have lost a lot of weight. People do ask me. Fat people come up to me later. They go, hey, uh, what'd you do? Well, I go, you won't like it. And then number two, and actually number two is a lot easier for, this is where diabetes helps. Because I have to check my blood sugar. All the time. So, no, question number two is, uh, under what set of circumstances will I start eating? Because that's that's the other thing. Because there are plenty of times I'm like, huh, I'd like to eat. So I have a rule. I have a rule my partic with my particular uh, body and blood sugar curves. I go, uh, I will not begin eating until... If my blood sugar is higher than 110. So, I will check the blood sugar. Now, there's, it's not that I won't. There, so, if it is higher than this and I'm still feeling like I want to eat something. Am I making text-based games? Uh, not recently. This is a... I'm making a roguelike. It's still retro. Nope. We're not currently building with our problem here. Ow. Oh. I can't show it just well. I can show. Well, that's not true. Do I do I have? I'll fix it in a minute. It's a uh, well the uh, the uh, hold on. It currently looks like this. Your spaceship, there's stars, you know, stars. It's But it's retro, so it's partially text-based. These are all, it might as well be text-based. It could be text-based. In any case, so I will not, I will not start eating, not start eating if my blood sugar is above 110. If my blood sugar is or of yeah over 110 and I'd like dude I need something I will have a pickle spear and some more seltzer cuz that will cuz a pickle spear is basically a salty cucumber salty and vinegar cucumber piece and that gives something and then make yourself feel full so that's how I do that that is what I do Okay, well then, yeah, you know what? And my exercise, one half hour on the exercise bike each morning, but before stream. And actually, sometimes I'll be late on stream because I have to prioritize that above. But yeah, go get to the gym, man. Good to see you. Yeah, everybody everybody finds their way. Everybody finds their way. Columns over two. Star system map size columns over whatever. Create a map. We're gonna do universe create map map name map type 
be size columns, size rows, default location type, return that. Cool. So not every place where in Junibert's Uh, I universe where create map happens, find all the references. I'll just say descriptor. I'm going to ship that universe now. Yeah. Hmm. Do I need map here? I use map here. It's okay. Oh, right on. All right. So it's maps, map, map types, descriptors, map types, galaxy, create map of the galaxy name in the universe. Okay, so that's where that one is. And that is uh, map types, descriptors, and universe. Right on. Okay. Map types, create our map types, descriptors, uh, map types, planetary orbits, create map, and planet universe. There that is. Look at that. All right, then. Boom. Oh, did we did we find some bots that we didn't like, Cyril? <clears throat> TypeScript tea time. You know what? Okay, so I'm still doing my bingo card. I'm going to have Apollo I stop by. Putting that on our bingo card. I don't know the bingo already. Uh, it's, it's a slow morning, but it's all right. It's okay. All right, so this is where we're gonna say um, map types descriptors of map types planet vicinity create map in the universe. All right, so cool, all right. Yeah. 
And same thing here, map types, descriptors of map types, satellite orbit, create map. and then we'll do a descriptor dot. Take that. Boom. I'm getting much more consistent with things. Create the map. Boom, boom, neat, neat. Okay, so, but now what I want here, so are we, are we gonna be working? The thing, are things going to work now? Okay, it doesn't blow up, so it worked on some level. Approach planet to orbit. Okay, great. Okay, all these things work. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Create from map type descriptor. That's good. And we're gonna gonna clean out some of this other stuff that I don't need in my my model and in my initialization steps because now I've got it centralized, more declarative. Galaxy initialization. Okay, so the galaxy columns, galaxy rows, right? Boom. Take that, make that go away. Uh, it could be star map dot size columns. Star map size rows. Okay, so there's that one. Galaxy initialization. Nexus columns, nexus rows. We don't need it. Now that's just gone completely. There's that. And it's planet.map. Whatever. Dot size columns. Size rows. Dot size columns. And I map dot size rows. Okay, there's that one. Planet vicinity. I don't want this anymore. Planet vicinity dot map. Dot size rows or dot size columns. Boom dot size columns. Columns and boom dot size rows. You know, enough of this stuff. 
Um, getting the center point happens all the time. You might put a convenience method in there. Satellite initialization, so satellite orbit columns, boom. Size columns, size rows, size columns, size rows. And star system, I got rid of that one. Star vicinity, got rid of that one. Wormhole, doesn't have anything like that. All right. Okay, are we working? <laughs> okay, so I've now got um, factor is done. I think I actually have that in the backlog, so I should put go find that in the backlog. Yeah, there we go. Run that to the board. Bring it over here so we can see. Put it in the board. Map type descriptors. So we're still on refactoring the universe, but map type descriptors do help. Okay. Am I muted? I've been coughing a lot, so I've had to hit the mute and unmute button, and I might miss a few times, man. All right, we're refactoring the universe still. Still refactoring the universe. What I want to do here, so now I want to make, take all these create functions. I want to put them into a sub, sub object thing. All right. And we're going to call it. Uh, read only property um, so it's a factory right factory as I universe factory we say let's generate that interface it doesn't see it's I don't like that it's called a universe factory I don't like the name, but okay, we can rename things. So normally, if I have a universe factor, I want it to make universes, right? Okay, so we have this. In universe, we're also going to implement universe factory. But right now, up oh, we already 
Did we already do this? Okay, so we have this factory, and we're going to return me. Right. Okay, so now we have the universe factory. We've 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 budded, trying to come up with terms for the for this for this particular. I'm sure that somebody has terms for this method of refactoring of of, of refactoring this stuff out. And I'm I'm perfectly happy to take somebody else's vocabulary for this. Step one, you make an empty interface and you make a property that returns that interface. And then you have it return itself. You you, you have this thing implement that that interface and return itself. That's step one, the step one. Now, what I'm going to do here is say all of those interfaces or all of these, all these functions go into here. I was going to break some stuff. Number one, in the eye universe, but it's going to make it angry and red. So it's like, okay, that goes in, the, that's in the new interface. These are all in the new interface. And what this is also doing is this is prepping for when you move it to the new place. Eek. So still in place, small changes, not, not, not big logic changes. But now it's the places where it's being used. I have to do dot factory. Wherever these things are, universe. Now these are not earth shatteringly complex changes. Do we find them all? Or are there more? So we've now moved everything to the new interface. So we've now moved the that stuff is associated with this interface, and it's now a sub-interface of iUniverse. So now what we do. Now we've got it. Uh, we have butted the new interface. Okay, we butted that new interface. Now we want to change our factory to say, well, really what I want is to say return universe factory uh, from universe or from what, what do we what do we call this thing with from universe data from data. <laughs> Okay, so we have, must make this as a class, make that a new class, put that in my folder. Uh, implements iUniverse factory. Now, but now does universe inherit from anything? It's universe data client. So it's gonna be the same kind of data client as the other thing. So now this is going to say, hey, make that constructor. So now we've got that, right? And a couple of things are taking place. One, we need this static method. And then here in universe, we're going to take out this implementation, which at least in VB, going to say, hey, dude, you can't have that. So let's mark this one down and let's mark this one. Take you out. Put you here. 
you find all the bits of embarrassing redness and you move it on down, move it over. To here. Creating a wormhole, creating a faction. And we finally this one to create store. And now everything is cool here and everything probably still works. Nope, does, ah, doesn't, because I didn't do the from data part. This one is re return new universe factory from universe data. And everything gets created just fine. All right, so now on the universe, I have moved out all the create things to something else. Avatar looks like it stays all by itself, which I've already fa I already factored that one out. Turn seems to stand alone. Messages does seem it's all well. So these are the repositories, right? And I think I'm going to leave these because it's not all that much. So we have eight things. Places and get places of type are like the one thing that there's a grouping of two. But since it doesn't, doesn't knock down my threshold of I can still see it on a page. I can still see it on a page that's like this. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it and what we're gonna do is we're going to say I refactored the universe. And then, oh, refactor the universe. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put it on my bingo card too. Refactor the universe. Uh, somebody refactor the universe again. Okay, so. Entity flag stuff turned into parameterized property. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Hey! Oh, it's a new one. Too long live, Chow. Hey, there we are. There we are. There we are. Ah, uh, I'm a little late today. It's five ten. What what kept you? Okay. Got entity. So this I entity thing. So set flag has flag clear flag. So the stuff in I entity here, right? Where are all the uh, okay. What I want to do here is I want to say property flags flag as string as boolean. So we're going to, we're going to do we're going to do this right here. The entity data client 
There's flags. So return. Which, this is really we're just going to implement it the way we had it. Has flag flag. If value then else right. Then set flag value or set flag flag. Otherwise clear flag flag. Right. So that's how that's how you would simplify the interface to just a single property with a parameter. So now we'll start with the smallest number of references. Okay, so I have the new flags property for I entity. Okay, good commit. So there's only four references to clear flag. I need to be private. Actually, I don't need that much, so that don't really need you at all. Boom. Actually, let's let's just be honest about these things. They are trivial to re-implement. Entity data flags contains flag. All right. Clear flag, not so. False, false. Better, more expressive this way. Okay, great. Clear flag has changed. And then I entity has flag. So set flag has five. One of the things is we're going to get rid of it. flags is true. See now the better part here is that I don't have to do this if statement anymore, which is the whole point. And that's it. Well, that's easier. Set flag. Okay, great. So flags equals true. All right, and that's all that. Is that all of them? Found them all. Replaced set flag. We go right back to I entity here, and now we have has flag. Did you watch that videotape, Graham? The one that you're not supposed to watch, where they come and you know, it comes and kills you after ringing the doorbell a bunch of times. The one from Ringu. As flag. It probably is. It's the it's a it's just a freedom evangelist making sure that you love freedom. It's a freedom protector. Ding. 
time. No freedom. The Schnabel. The Der Schnabel. Yeah, oh, I know. I know. Japan is a freedom loving, freedom lovers, man. They are, they love that freedom. Mm. Okie doke. Na 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 na. Okay, so we've uh, refactored flag stuff. All right, this one's not as momentous. The, so this one doesn't get on the bingo card really. This one's relatively minor. It's it's a. I was gonna put I entity universe into this I entity thing. All right, so this is going to be interesting. So read only property universe as I universe. Okay. Let's implement that. Return new universe, universe data. Okay, so now it's any entity will have this. So now I don't need it here. And I don't need it here. And I don't need it here, because I put it in a bunch of places, right? Same exact implementation, which is the whole, whole silly point. <laughs> All right. Well, that one was. That one was quite simple. I entity universe. That was that was a lot easier. Yeah, it doesn't that one doesn't feel terribly significant either. But you can get to the so any object that was created in the universe, you can use since we're making talking orbits and stuff and loving freedom and potentially bombing those who don't. Only if they really, really hate freedom. It's it's a last resort, man. In reference to the alien movies. Can we get a nuke from orbit? It's the only way to be sure feature in the game. Yes, but we have to euphemize. We have to euphemize it. Um, and um, sort of, and some, um, yeah, we can do that. So we're gonna we're gonna go with the Thoreth, the Thoreth, and something like uh, renewal. Rebirth. I like. I kind of like revitalization. Or no, it's a. Uh, Freedom, we're going to have a freedom revival. Yes. We're going to revive, we're going to revive the love of freedom. Oh, yeah, freedom, freedom revival device. 
Okay, so yes, let's um, get, get Freedom Restoration. I like Freedom Restoration Pod. I also like Freedom Revival Device. Because remember, uh, we'll go to the war here. All right. Freedom revival device, I think. But I want to also just take a look at the word device here and see if there's something else that I like better. Kind of like apparatus. Like I, I think appar apparatus is, is is nice. It's it's got that. I need a we we need a freedom revival freedom revival apparatus. Freedom revival apparatus. Yep, I I think apparatus apparatus of free, freedom revival apparatus. When Sigfed. Has tried its best to ensure that a population center loves freedom as it ought, but to no avail. The hatred of freedom is just too great. Time comes to employ a freedom revival apparatus designed to uh, completely eliminate the um, spelling is for the week. See, spelling is for the week. Completely eliminate the hatred of freedom. It is. It is. It is Friday, isn't it? Um, now we're not going. We're not going to. Um, there's a particular type of radiation that will just kill the people, right? It'll just kill the people and leave the other things intact. All the buildings and all the other stuff is left intact. I'm not sure which radiation that is. <laughs> Your mom, yeah. The apparatus. Uh, emits a giant pulse of a type of radiation that causes um, your your mommy your mommy m sixty nine yeah that causes biological entities it causes fleshy biological entities to um, that um, disrupts uh, fatally disrupts the metabolism of biological entities. Um, after a few moments, it's basically, okay, so freedom revival apparatus. That city hates so much freedom, hates freedom so much that we need a freedom revival apparatus. So we send the freedom revival apparatus to it. It goes off. Starts with 
just just a just a flash of light like all right um nothing happens to buildings there might be like some static on your electric electronic device something stuff might reboot or whatever okay but what happens is that the stuff your it's it's a radiation that causes you to in a couple of minutes start puking your guts out and then you die so that's a freedom revival apparatus so thank you gramps okay the freedom revival apparatus we're writing that on the bingo card Yes, sir. That is... That's horrible. So, it's like, pew! And everybody... pukes for a couple minutes and then they die. Yes, sir. What I'd really like... The, the other thing that I would really like is... Uh, the, the, other, the other potential is... What it does is it, in all biological entities, it removes, it strips the electrons out of biological entity bodies. And so you have no electrons. So what happens is you just, you, you're, you're walking and suddenly you're, you just, the, the, the atoms, just, the ions now just fall to the ground. And really it explodes because you just explode into your atoms because um uh because now you've, everything's got a positive everything's a positive ion and it just flings apart there's also that but that would instantly kill you who wants that or maybe i do want that maybe i do want that maybe i do want a device that strips a body of all their electrons and poof And flowers do love freedom. Yeah. Yeah, because in, in a way, I, okay, so one, if you have the radiation that just d damages the biological entities and they puke, you still have to clean that up. That's, it's not very sanitary. Although, um, that's exactly the kind of thing that the freedom-loving people of SIGFED would do is like, okay, we've just used a freedom revival apparatus and now we send in the crew. We send in the cleanup crew. Oh. On, on this channel, we come up with horrible atrocities. Hey, for us. Eek. Dude, you're going to burn out, man. Universe. Close all the tabs. Okay. Wait, you see this thing? This right here, eye actor. Look at all the stuff in it. Look at this stuff. What are all the references here? Okay, so there's this actor distress signal. I think I want add message to go. Okay, we're going to move add message to universe because. Oh, look at you. Do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Okay, so here's messages as I messages. Was any oh you know what? I could just do add, right? I could do add message. 
Okay, we're going to move this. Well, let's, well, how many places is this really used, right? Find all the references. Really, that's it? That's the only place where I had a message? All right, well. Okay. We remove add message from here to iMessages. All right. Yeah, it belong. It doesn't belong there. Add message. That's what we have here. What do we do? Yep, this suddenly makes a lot more sense. Right there. Good stuff. Okay, we need to. Oh, all right. And then I get rid of it on iActor. So we take it out of I of actor. And then and then actor dot universe dot messages dot add message. Okay, now we good. We good. Add. And that's how we do it. Good, good. I know. I you know what? There's so I I understand that um my streams are very, very niche, very niche, but the niche does exist. We are, we are scattered all over the globe. Yeah, we're, we're weird and a bit quirky and you know, we're, um, there's there's obviously something wrong with us. But it's okay, because we found each other. We did. Okay, move messages to universe messages. Because that's what made more sense. And now we're working, I'm working on my I actor refactor, I think. If we're going to do you here. Okay, so over time I have junked all this stuff up. One of the things that's absolutely true here is that Okay, we're gonna start categorizing some things. So there's fuel stuff.
right? So there's fuel, right? Uh, there's tutorial stuff, right? Has a tutorial, current tutorial, dismiss tutorial, all this other. There's tutorials that that could just basically. Uh, there's there's this known places idea, known places thing. And then we have vessel things. Okay, so that goes on the vessel. So there's other stuff. Okay, so the actor type describes the actor directly. The location, facing name, costume, uh, life support. Okay, um, we do have uh, money stuff where I have these, these different things here. And this is, uh, there's your, there's, and then this is, this is, I'm, I hate that these words are so close together. There's your state. There's your status, right? So there's actor type is a status. Location is a state. So bear with me here. Facing is a state. Name is a status. Costume, arguably. Life support is a, okay, faction is a status. Home planet is a status. Interactor is a state. And life support, I'll put under vessel for the moment. Okay. And so really that's, so there's there's stuff going on here. There's jewels, minimum jewels, there's. Actually, I want to collapse jewels and minimum jewels down into wallet. And then that goes into state. I just, okay, oh, step one, rearrange, pre-refactor. Okay, so we're, we're good, we're building, everything's fine. We're going to rip these two things out, and everything's going to be based on wallet, and then wallet goes into state. So it's not status, it is... That is state, uh, and then status is perhaps um, is the status you're. Uh. All right. Nope. Here's the thing. Got a bingo card. I'm putting it. Fuel upgraded to .dot net eight. And it worked. From seven. So I'm I'm taking that as a thing. So I'm I'm like, hey, you know, we'll celebrate that. And that means I've got a bingo. You got a bingo all the way up all the way through there. I got a bingo. So I got a bingo. Yes, Rust is the best language. You know, as as I was, if I, this is my third day of having a third bingo card, and what I do is I put put a date on it, 
I put use a three hole punch to put that in there and I put it into a binder so that later on I can look and go what the hell was I doing and why is my writing so atrocious but that does that's not the point that's not the point something to look back on it's a it's a form of journaling but so I started to think to myself all right um, this is a very appifiable thing right very appifiable to make a little app or a website, really, where each day starting a bingo card. Ooh, with a billion dollar app idea. Nope, not a billion dollar app idea. Where each day starts your bingo card. And you fill out the things. Fill out the things. A zillion dollar. No, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be nothing. Actually, actually, bingo. Actually, it's a ninety-nine cent. It's a ninety-nine cent Steam app. Is what it is. Okay, what's the, what's the gameplay? The gameplay is stuff that happens, the stuff that you want to celebrate and recognize and be like, yeah, all right, celebr a celebration thing. You click, you type it in. It's simple. See, look at that. Look at that. 99 cent. 99 cent Steam app. Totally do it. And all the references of that. We're gonna remove minimum jewels. And we're gonna remove jewels. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Let's, well, uh, in, in others, there's, um, my daughter told me about, she's almost, she's around 13, told me about that's girl math, where you, it's basically free because I didn't spend this, I didn't spend this, and so that's, I saved that, saved that, saved that, so I, I spent nothing. So it's, that's, there's, there's, that term of girl math is, uh, what they what they use for for this concept so oh, is that all gone it's all gone ah jules is not a member of statistics no it's not you're right well as you can let's is it's a very enabling, it's a very enabling thing. Well, here's the thing. You know, listen. The emissions will not emit themselves. You have to take the source of, of carbon and convert it to its gaseous form. That doesn't happen on its own. For the love of freedom, how else are we gonna? How else are we? Go, how else are we gonna make our carbon feet big? Because big carbon feet love freedom. Because you know what? The bigger your carbon feet, the more you love freedom. Obviously. 
Am I right? Of course I'm right. Because I love freedom. Actor dot wallet. Not current value. minimum value. Okay, so this this is nullable if not All it current value. Wallet it minimum value. Value. There dot wallet dot dot current value. Is that that wallet? Is that oh, okay? So, how do we do? How do we do this? Read on my Or is this where the wallet gets created? You know what? Because I'm, I do the wallet last. We re actually, we could recreate the wallet. Can't no. Can we? Let's just not have that. Yeah. Do that. Actor dot wallet equals. Did it. We did it. Maybe this will work. Got a lamp in the hallway installed after living for five years. Dude. Dude, that's amazing. I'm putting that in my putting that on my bingo card. You all got a lamp. A hallway lamp. There we go, marked it down. Jules is not a member of okay, so dot wallet current value. Okay.
Oh. All right. Uh, jewels is now all in the wallet. There you go. Put the jewels in the wallet. Okay, we're back to I Actor. Status isn't so actor type. It's um. <sighs> or do I put that all under stand? Is that? Mm -hmm -hmm. It's like a profile, right? <laughs> There's stuff that changes a lot. Obviously, the costume doesn't change very much. Your facing changes all the time. Okay, so what we're going to do here. Um, low entropy properties. Okay. Or low, um, not entropy. Um, volatility, not entropy. Volatility. And we have high volatility properties. And I don't know, they're, they're, they're very... Yeah. No, it doesn't matter because we're 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 seven minutes until it's time to go. So we're in the middle of refactor I actor. We have a bingo. We've got one bingo. We're working towards our second bingo. It really does. It really, really does. Now some there are some days where it's it where the two hours feels like a really long time. There there are days where it does, but then other days, not so much. All right, are we are we at a good spot? We can we can ship it. We can ship it. We're going to ship it. So, right on. And so that's going to do that. Let us find, let us find our raid target. Okay, we got We're gonna go. We're going for the crotch can. Yes, sir. Who doesn't like the crotch can? Going over to the dev dad. Cause for, you know, for the obvious reason, right? Obvious reason. Thank you so much for hanging out. And, uh, get off my lawn. <laughs> 